Ah, finally, I've been wanting to do these kinds of videos for such a long time, and now I finally have the opportunity to do them. Now that I have all this space, a new tablet, with a decent amount of space on the tablet itself, I guess, and no interruptions, hopefully. A while back, I believe in the summer of 2019, I made a video saying, hey, should I make videos showcasing my LEGO Transformers? And people said, eh, yeah, sure. And by that, I mean nobody. Nobody even saw any... There were, like, no comments on the video. Nobody even said anything. But I wanted to do it anyways, because why not? I have these Legos made. Might as well do something with them. And also, I believe this is supposed to fix... Hold on, I have to fix this onto this. Hold on. There we go. Much better. So, yeah... I've been wanting to make these reviews of these little Lego Transformers that I've made. Some of them are my own custom creations, others are obviously based off of the movie models. Some of them are accurate, some have some artistic liberties and some limitations. But I'm overall very proud of them, especially a certain few. While others could be improved, but yeah, I'm very happy to make these videos finally, since I've been desperately wanting to make them. And why not have our first one be of the first one that I ever made? And as well as that, the first one I wanted to make because of how unique his design is. Even though it may look complicated and hard to make, it really is very simple. With only a few select parts. Make a head mold, put together some tires, some leg supports. Why is this thing not wanting to behave now? Come on. And use some excavator arms and put stuff and decorations and little pieces all over it to make it look natural. And that's the final result. So yeah, Demolisher, as some of you may know, is my favorite Transformer. Not the G1 design, I can't even remember what it looks like, and it looks just like all the others. I'm sorry guys, but G1 kind of sucks, I really don't care about it, I'm afraid, sorry. Anyways, the main reason is not because of the stories and all, it's just simply because I don't like the designs. They're just kind of boring and basic and similar. Ones like Demolisher and Skipjack, or Rampage, whatever you want to call them. They're also unique and cool. And Demolisher is obviously no exception to this. I made his face have these like various pieces around it. And I have the yellow eyes, a nose kind of area, even though he doesn't really have much of a nose. And these kinds of horn-like ears, I don't know what you call them. This detailing on the back as well. And the whole thing can spin around very easily, which is cool. Which makes sense, because, you know, he's rolling around. He's got to have his head in proper position at all times. And as for the tires... I basically put an axle on the sides of two of them, as well as an axle in between, or whatever you want to call the pieces. Put two tires together, and then took these little treads that I have from a Lego creator snowmobile of mine, and then wrapped it around backwards along the thing, and then it results in these massive-looking tread tires. They're not nearly as big as they should be, like showcased in the movie, but at the same time, the Demolishers should be much bigger. While the design is mostly accurate... The sizing obviously isn't, because otherwise the person would be like this tiny, <laughs> as you can see with my hand. Obviously we have the cap here, and a recent addition I made is that it can swivel around and all, which makes sense. In the transformation sequence, you can see it spinning and moving onto his arm piece instead of his body, because where else would it go? I also added these uh, antenna uh, towers, whatever you want to call them and various pieces to make his arms look less yellow and more white and red, which is accurate, obviously, to his T-Rex design. He also has some on the back. It's made to make his arms look very big and thick, make him look strong. He also has these giant excavator arms. Here's the other tire as well. And here's the other arm. This one is a bit more confusing and weird because of how I did this. In order to add some extra bulk to his body, I believe I did this differently before and it turned out better, and I think I'll change this since it's so loose. But this piece is on a very small swivel here, and it's very flimsy. It used to stand up like this, but now it just flops. Oh, it just broke off. <laughs> I can fix it. But yeah, you have some more stuff. Just kind of random junk on this side, just to make them look detailed and everything. And you have some of these arm pieces, or whatever you want to call them. And this, and another excavator arm. Oh, oh, dang it, more pieces are falling off. Oops, gotta fix this. Come on. Sorry about that interruption, guys. My parents were yammering, and my mom was on the phone like, Oh yeah, Evan can come over. I didn't say he could. 
and it's annoying. Ah, oh, sometimes my parents can be really frustrating. Like when it comes to me wanting to order some cars, and they are still procrastinating. Thankfully, I've kind of convinced my mom to finally order me something. Anyways, I'm getting off topic. So yeah, arm is very detailed and bulky, and it has a, a little license plate number on there. Because so why not? I also added these little lights on here as well, because the vehicle would have lights on the front, right? <laughs> and some plating to make him look white and less black and yellow. It also has these arms here, which obviously swivel, and they also... Ah, oh, man, I'm so tired of this thing moving off. Come on, stop breaking! It's usually not like this. And this part swivels, obviously, like an excavator arm should. This part swivels as well, like this. It works all so nicely. <laughs> you can even have him like this if you want to. It kind of looks like he's doing yoga. Um, <laughs> He's very articulated with these big arms of his. And you can also position him in various ways. Even though the wheels are very slippery, and I mean very slippery, you can have him sitting like this, kind of if you get this position right, even though he's looking down here. You can kind of have him in his motorcycle style, where he's rolling down the street. They hate him. He's a bit flimsy. And you can even have him off the ground like this if you want to. <laughs> he looks kind of funny, like, Hello down there, little person. Prepare to die. Ah, boom. Crushed. So yeah, this is one of my figures, and I'm very proud of it. I'm very glad of the design, and I'm glad that it was my first one, because it adds so much charm to my favorite Transformer of all time, Demolisher. As well as his similar counterpart, Scavenger, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, this is the first of several episodes where I review my LEGO Transformers. Hope you enjoyed.